Is Pimax about to start a revolution in the PC VR market? The company has just unveiled three brand new VR headset infos of the known 8 K micro OLED technologies and uh, also the other headsets and they are packed with with really nice information it's really great we are talking about the same Sony panels that Apple uses in the Vision Pro and the wildest field of view ever seen in a micro OLED headset and also as I said an entry level model that could completely overshadow the competition in this video, we'll analyze all the facts and find out if Pimax is truly redefining the future of PC VR. If you enjoy deep dive analyzes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. The link to the headset, as always, is in the description. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo DE. Okay guys, so there was this event by Pimax and they showed the three products. More information about that. So they are doing, they are releasing three micro OLED headsets and they say it's, um, it's, they, it's aimed to different segments of the enthusiast market. Entry level, flagship and modular. So the three headsets, uh, the first one is the Dream Air SE. This is the affordable all-in-one package, then the Dream Air. This is the no compromise 8K flagship and the Crystal Super OLED engine, micro OLED engine. This is, uh, this is the Crystal Super but with, with 50 pixel per degree, but you can just remove the display unit and then put the micro OLED engine in it. And this is the modular high field of view option. So. And they told us a lot about these three headsets. So let's go through that. So the first one is the Pimax Dream Air SE. This is the entry level package for enthusiasts. And the target audience is defined as the 5K micro OLED VR headset for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so it's designed to make entry into the premium micro OLED uh, world affordable. At least that's what Pimax says. So uh, about display and resolution, we have micro OLED panels with a resolution of 2560 by 2560 per eye. In these times, of course, this is nothing uh, where, where I have an open mouth and uh, uh, of course it's nothing special, but the price is special. Let's see that later. The advantage of micro OLED, each pixel is self-illuminating and can be turned off completely, resulting in perfect black levels, extremely fast response times and razor sharp contrast. People that have OLED, they know it already. And uh, we have some core features that are all inclusive. For example, the optics, uh, they, they use the new Pimax concave view pancake lenses. Uh, and that means we have a horizontal field of view of 105 degrees. At least Pimax says that uh, I will have lower values as always, but I will try that as soon as I have it. Then for the tracking, it comes with Pimax pre uh, proprietary uh, SLAM inside out tracking. So it will not require any external base stations. And hand tracking is also supported. We also have included eye tracking. Also everything in the, uh, in the Dream SE. Yeah? And um, this is by Toby and it's a really good eye tracking. Toby does good stuff. And uh, for the audio, we have integrated spatial audio and um, it's included and so no separate accessories are needed. <clears throat> so now for the price, we have two different options. The headset alone, this is for users that already have the controllers and all this stuff. It costs $899. And then there's the complete package with SLAM tracking and controllers for $1,199. Yeah. And yeah, it seems that cheaper than all the other uh, PC VR headsets in this category. Is it right? I think so. I think so, right? I think they are, they are all, I mean the, yeah, the, the um, big screen Beyond 2 is more expensive, right? It's, is it? I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> um, then the next one is the 8K flagship, the Pimax Dream Air. And this is marketed as the world's smallest full-featured 8K VR headset. 
Yeah, and it, it it shares the chassis and many basic functions with the SE model, but has a completely superior optics engine. Let's talk about that. So the display is by Sony. We have the Sony Micro OLED panels with a resolution of 3840 by 3552 pixels per eye. This is insane. This is inside the Apple Vision Pro and you know how expensive the Apple Vision Pro is. And I can tell you this Sony Micro OLED panels with this resolution are ultra expensive. Let, go to China and buy 10 of them. You will see that it's very expensive. Yeah, and as I said, Apple uses that for their high-end VR headset. It's crazy. And we also have an advanced optics and a field of view. They um, have an improved version of the concave view lenses and, and they are made from like glass plastic hybrid which significantly reduces glare and increases clarity. Interesting. And we have, a, this is very important for me, we have a horizontal field of view of 110 degree which is as at least Pimax says that the widest field of view of any micro OLED VR headset on the market. And if that's true, 110 degree horizontal for this panel with uh, this resolution, wow. <laughs> but I want to prove that for myself. I will wait until I have this here. Yeah. I mean, I had it already uh, in a prototype version. Yeah, you, perhaps you've seen my video and I, w I had a blast. It was really insane. Yeah, it, uh, it's crazy. The price, <laughs> attention, it's $1,999. Now everybody says, oh my God, this is so expensive. I know this is expensive. But as I already said, these micro OLED panels with this resolution of by Sony are very expensive. Believe me, you can Google that. Yeah, and um, so I think the price is okay for that ultra high-end uh, PC VR headset. Yeah, I think it's really okay. When you compare it to the Apple Vision Pro, it's like uh, nearly two times of the price. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, and the third thing they talked about is the Pimax Crystal Super with um, the micro OLED engine. And as I already told you, uh, you can uh, push these two buttons here and then remove the display unit and then you can put the micro OLED engine inside that. So that means the micro OLED engine is not a complete new headset, but rather uh, a new swappable optical engine for the existing modular uh, crystal super headset, right? And uh, for the uh, micro OLED, it uses the same high-end technology as the Dream Air flagship. So the same Sony 8K panels and concave view lenses. This is really crazy. And there is one advantage and also the disadvantage is that it's bulkier than the Dream Air, of course. Yeah, it's, it's bulkier, but due to the bigger um, yeah, the bigger case of that, um, of course they can adjust the optics to achieve a wider field of view of 116 degrees horizontal. This is more, now the question is, <laughs> should I buy the smaller tiny headset like, like this one here and have less field of view or should I buy a bulkier one and have wider field of view? Wow, the, this decision is hard. Uh, especially for me because I'm a huge fan of field of view but I'm also a huge fan of small headsets. I don't know, it's so hard. Everybody has to decide it for themselves, right? But it's really great. Uh, by the way, all the links and prices are in the description as well. And um, yeah, then they talked a little bit about the key technologies uh, um, that, they, uh, that, I, that I already talked about. Uh, for example, the Pimax concave view lenses. Um, this is their secret to the wide field of view and one of the lenses is curved inward similar to uh, a, a, a door a peephole for example yeah and the trick allows for a wider field of view um, than would be possible with traditional pancake lenses in and additionally it allows the eyes to be closer to the lens without your eyelashes interfering yeah, of course, that enhances the immersive feeling. And um, yeah, then they talked about um, SLA, SLAM, inside out tracking. And um, they say, yeah, of course, it's you don't need external base stations. And 
Pimax's argument to use that is that base stations are becoming obsolete as Valve has um, not uh, any plans to, to keep that in their production. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. And also major players like Meta and Apple are also focusing on inside-out solutions. So, but I, must, I was a big fan of uh, lighthouse tracking, I must say. <coughs> but now <coughs> I think they, inside out tracking is, has gotten so far that I would also say it's nearly very close to the, to the lighthouse tracking, this tracking. Yeah? So I think that's okay. Yeah? Um, it, it's, of course, it's a simple plug and play then, it's uh, high uh, portably and uh, yeah, you don't need to drill holes in the wall and so on, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's the thing. Yeah, uh, and also uh, the eye tracking yeah, is, is by Toby and it's a very clever um, solution. Uh, we have 10 infrared LEDs or LEDs on the edge of the lens. Perhaps you can see it here, yeah, there's this black uh, thing here around the lenses and there there's the uh, infrared LEDs inside. It's absolutely amazing um, Yeah, this is what what they say yeah? and also they say um, they um, Decided to put coolers Inside or, or quiet fans inside the headsets two of them to keep the panels cool and though they can enable higher brightness and the uh, micro OLEDs have a longer lifespan. Makes sense, but of course you will hear them. I have to try it for myself, yeah. And this is a decision they made against the marketing trend. So yeah, why not? And then they talked a little bit about the Pimax uh, Play software and so on. Uh, uh, I mean, we all know the people that had a Pimax headset. In, in the past, the Pimax software was like a disaster. I had so much problems with that. Yeah, you, you remember perhaps, but they are getting much better now. So now when I use the Pimax software, I mostly have no problems. The only problem that I had was with the ultralight module that the field of view was uh, like strange values. Uh, and the IPD was strange values, but everything else was really great. So a huge improvement in my opinion. Yeah, and then they talked a little bit about bonuses. For example, uh, for the early Crystal Super users, Pimax is launching a program where, where like a batch of prototype micro OLED engines will be loaned to their most loyal customers for a short time. That's interesting if you want to try it then. And, and for the Dream Air pre-orders before the event, um, they will receive a free halo strap and six month warranty extension. That's also pretty nice. And for buyers of the Crystal Super with micro OLED, they will receive a set of high quality Hyper Black PU leather face cushions for free. And for all new pre-orders, they will receive uh, lens frames for prescription lenses. That's also nice. Yeah, and uh, also uh, you get the Le Mans Ultimate uh, game. This is a racing game uh, when you buy one of the headsets, but that doesn't count for the optical engine, I think, only for the full headset. And um, you also get the lens frames uh, for free for, the, for any micro OLED product. But if you now also go via my link that you can find in the description, there is a guarantee that you get free shi shipping and you also save like from 15 to $25 when you uh, buy a headset. That's really crazy, right? So there's a win-win situation. So you support my channel and you also support yourself uh, by uh, spending a little a bit less of the price. So guys, that was the Pimax event. Uh, I'm really interested in that. I must be honest, you know, in my heart, I'm a PC VR fan. I know on this channel, I also show Quest and stuff. I also love the Quest, of course, yeah? But PC VR, I started with PC VR in 2016. I even started PC VR in 1995 with this guy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm a huge PC VR fan and that's why I'm really looking forward to that. The, the, the values, the tech specs are insane of this Pimax headset and I also think the price is, is okay. Yeah, it's really okay. When you compare it to the uh, Big Screen Beyond 2, yeah, this is uh, uh, more expensive uh, and, and uh, yeah, it's also good but yeah.
This could be very interesting. For me, the Pimax uh, Dream Air, the, the flagship edition is, whoa, I, I really want to try it, yeah? But also, of course, the OLED module. We will see. I hope they will send it to me soon so I can do a review. For everyone that is impatient like me, you can pre-order it already, go via my link to save money. Uh, and everybody else who is a little bit more patient, <laughs> wait for my review. Yeah. I hope you like it. Um, uh, if you want to see other hardware VR reviews, check out the playlist in the description. Otherwise, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo be in.